Bonjour tout le monde, comment allez-vous Vous allez bien Oui euh, Aujourd'hui, je fais la huitième vidéo pour notre cours de français pour les débutants. Donc, euh, oui, bienvenue. So, it's the eighth video that we're doing for our uh, 10 week French for beginners course, um, which takes place in Trepso. Um, so, today we're just going to look at um, three verbs, so three types of verbs. These are regular verbs. So you will have seen sort of in the video towards uh, the start of, um, of this course, you will have seen how to conjugate ER verbs. So we'll start off with an ER verb, one that we all know by now. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't got a bright light on in here, but um, at the moment, I've got a bit of an issue with the lighting. So I'm just going to zoom in and hopefully you can see what I'm looking at without any problem. Voila. Ça va? Oui? Ok. So we've got the verb parler. Oui. You recognize this one, don't you? Parler. So parler is to speak. To speak. So don't worry if you can't see all of me. The most important thing is that you can see the board. So to speak. Now the endings for this verb are outlined here. Uh, gauche just at the top of the handout from week eight. So um, have a look at that as we go through this. So ER verbs, that's the one with an E and an R at the end. So I speak or I am speaking. Je parle. So all you need to add is an E to the end of that verb. Je parle. So we take off the ER, that leaves the stem. All of these are the stem and these are the pronouns. I speak, je parle. Tu parles, you add an ES, they sound exactly the same, however, parle, parle. Il, elle parle, you just put an E at the end there. So, un, deux et toi uh, sont pareils, en fait, un peu pareil. Um, je parle, tu parles, il, elle parle. Yes, yeah, so E, E, S or E, but they sound the same. Get on to the, uh, the first, second and third person plural. Uh, nous parlons. We are speaking or we speak. Um, vous form. Do you remember what it is at the end of the present tense in ER verbs? In most verbs actually. Is that? Vous parlez. Vous parlez très bien. Um, vous parlez trop vite. You're speaking too fast. Parlez-vous français? Parlez-vous espagnol? Etc. So um, that's the vous form. You speak or you're speaking, or do you speak if it's a question? Parlez-vous. Il, elle. What are the endings for regular ER verbs? It's just E, N, T. Pourtant, however, something happens here, doesn't it? Remember, you don't actually pronounce that. Even though you might think, you'd be right to think that it might be pronounced en. Um, at the end of certain words, um, uh, naturellement, when you've got an M-E-N-T at the end of words, that mon sound, um, lentement, uh, vous parlez très lentement, you are speaking very slowly. When you've got M-E-N-T, then you pronounce that en sound. However, in the ERE verbs, sorry, ER verbs, um, you don't pronounce the ENT ending. In fact, it's for, generally, it's for most of the, the ELL forms of verbs. Okay, in the present tense, don't pronounce that ENT. So, this, 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 and this are actually pronounced pareil, the same. Je parle, tu parles, il, elle parle, il, elle parle. So this and that sound exactly the same, but context will tell you whether you're talking about he, or they, a group of men, or she, or they, a group of ladies. So um, let's see another verb. I've got here numéro deux, <clears throat> number two on your sheet, gives you another verb which works in the same way. It's the verb arriver, arriver. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a few examples. Here's the stem of the verb, arrive. Let's uh, go and Oui, un peu plus près, comme ça, oui. Okay. 
arrive, arrive, and let's do arrive here in the vous form. So, um, comment dit-on? How do I say uh, you in the vous form? How do I say you are arriving? For example, uh, you are arriving at 10 o'clock. So in class, we actually looked at some times, didn't we? We had to do some times. They're quite easy. So um, you are arriving at 10 o'clock. So there's the stem. There's the ending for a vous form. We put EZ at the end. Um, we need the pronoun in front of it. Vous. Vous. Oh, there's an S in front of an A. So that becomes vous arrivez at 10 o'clock. A. Dix heures. Vous arrivez à dix heures. You are arriving at ten o'clock. Bravo. Okay. Um, what if I want to say, I'm arriving tomorrow. I'm arriving tomorrow. I arrive tomorrow. We could say um, a fuller sentence. I'm arriving in London tomorrow. Okay. I'm arriving in London. So here's the I form. We add an E to the end because that's the ending. Um, we can't have je and arrive because we'll have an E followed by an A. So it becomes instead J apostrophe. J'arrive. Now what did I say? J'arrive in London. So when you're going to London or you're getting, uh, you're arriving in a city, in a town, you use the preposition à. J'arrive à Londres, because there's a, a French spelling of the word London, and that's it. Voilà. Londres. J'arrive à Londres tomorrow. Demain. J'arrive à Londres demain. Voilà. Might want to make that a capital. But um, so, arrive, just put an E on the end. Okay, he or she is arriving. Yeah, she's arriving. <gasps> He's arriving. <gasps> she's arriving. Okay, so you just do a little, little sentence like that. Um, let's make it he. Il arrive. Oui, just put an E at the end. So those endings, these three and that one sound the same. Parle, 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 parle. And then we have ONS in the new form and EZ at the end of the stem in the VU form. So bravo, c'est bien. Now we're going to move on to the second or sometimes it's called the third type of verb. It depends. Um, I just like to call them an RE verb. It's easier. It's quite evident <laughs> why it's called an RE verb because it ends with R and E. So attendre. Attendre is, uh, attendre is the infinitive form. So that means to wait. One word in English can be translated in two words. To wait. Comes up. To wait. <coughs> Par exemple, um, je vais attendre. Je vais attendre. Or I might say, je vais attendre ici. I am going to wait here. Je vais attendre. So remember that verb aller. Yeah, it's really irregular. It is an ER verb, but it doesn't conjugate like parler, like we just saw. It's very irregular. So, I am going is je vais. That's a great verb because you can follow it with an infinitive verb, like attendre, without even conjugating it. You don't have to do any of that stuff. So, je vais attendre ici. Just like kind of English. I am going to wait ici. Je vais attendre ici. Very good. So let's get on to the conjugation. So, um, voici les pronoms. Here are the pronouns. You should be getting very familiar with these now. And here's the stem of the verb. So, at the moment, the stem is everything that comes before the ending, RE. So, qu'est-ce qui se passe avec ce verbe? What happens with this verb then? Hmm. Well, you will see that you add an S to the je form, and you add an S to the uh, tu form, you actually, um, it might not be clear on my sheet, but you actually don't need to add anything. You don't need to add anything. So if the verb and if the 
the stem of the verb ends with a D, then um, you don't need to put anything after it. So um, sometimes it will end with a T or maybe an N. Or, so the, the, not all verbs that are regular that end in RE have a D at the end. It just so happens that D is the last letter of the stem of this verb and you don't need to add anything. So um, j'attends ici. I'm waiting here. Tu attends là-bas. Moi j'attends ici. Toi, tu attends là-bas. You wait over there. Okay, so that's me being a bit, a bit bossy. Moi j'attends ici, là-bas. Là-bas is over there. But you could just say là. Là. So là, um, j'attends ici. That's here. I think we've seen this word recently when we were looking at countries on a map, like ici c'est l'Angleterre, là c'est la France. Uh, tu attends là, that means there. Là-bas means like over there. <laughs> so away from me, basically. So if you want to be mean, you can tell someone, attends là-bas. Or if you were saying it in the VU form, like you guys, telling your children, wait there, wait there. You'd use the boo form and you would put an EZ at the end. Oui, bravo. Vous attendez là. You wait there. Very good. So, what do you think happens in the new form? Yeah, by now you should be um, aware that verbs that end, uh, verb, verbs in the new form end with O N S. Okay, so you can, if you know the verb and you can recognize where the stem ends, then you can have a go at using the verb in a new form. Nous attendons. Qu'est-ce que nous attendons? What are we waiting for? Hmm. You could say, for example, um, nous attendons le bus. Nous attendons le bus. Or you could say, nous attendons le train. Nous attendons le train. There's an example. We're waiting for the train. So, this verb, unlike English, we don't have to put the, the preposition the, the for after the verb. So we don't have to say, I'm waiting for the bus, I'm waiting for the train, like we do in English. We just say, nous attendons le train. So um, that's something that happens in French. Sometimes the verbs are followed by the, the same or the equivalent preposition as in English. Sometimes they're not. So um, it's a bit like the verb regarder. Je regarde uh, les oiseaux. I'm looking at the birds. I'm looking at the birds. So we don't need to um, translate the preposition at when you use regarder because it's, um, it's just not used in French. You just say je regarde les oiseaux. So that's why it's a bit easier sometimes to think of the verb regarder as meaning um, to watch. Right, so we have translations, two translations. De traduction pour le verbe regarder. I'm looking at something or I'm watching. Je regarde la télé, je regarde uh, ma famille, etc. So don't be surprised um, if verbs don't always have the preposition that they do in English. You might be tempted to say, nous attendons pour le bus. Mais il ne faut pas, there's no need. Nous attendons le, le train, le bus, uh, le film, etc. Okay, so, j'attends, uh, tu attends, il, elle attend. Don't need to put anything there. Um, nous attendons, vous attendez, ils, elles. Hmm, what happens here? Well, the ending again is ENT. And um, what happens here with ENT in the il, elle plural form? So when you pronounce it, it just sounds like the first three. Ils, elles attendent. Uh, les garçons attendent le bus. So remember that you don't always have to use il and elle when you're talking about them or they. You can use um, another uh, noun. For example, you could use les garçons, the boys. Les garçons attendent le bus. Or you could say the girls. Les, les filles attendent le train. You could say... Um, Les personnes, the people, uh, etc. Or the children, the men, the women, 
the workers. So you don't always have to use il and elle. You can also replace it with people's names. Um, Marc et Marie attendent le bus. Because when you're talking about more than one person, you're probably using they, the they form, unless you were included in the group. Um, if it was um, me, uh, Marc, Marie, Stéphane, Julie, Christine, if you, yourself, I, am included in that group, then we're using the new form. Moi, Marie, Marc, Christine, Julie, nous attendons le bus. Okay, sorry if I'm, you know, if this is blindingly obvious, but uh, sometimes it can be confusing. Okay, troisième verbe. Third verb we're going to look at today, and we're coming up to ooh, 16 minutes. So hopefully you can still see this and you're following. These are or what we're going to see. Nous allons regarder, nous allons, we're going to look at, um, la, les conjugaisons uh, des de verbes IR, des verbes IR. So um, here we have the finish, to finish, let's write that in there. To finish, voila. Um, je, I want to say I finish or I'm finishing. Par exemple, uh, I'm finishing my work. So I'm um, just looking at the examples I've got here. So um, I'm finishing my work. Je finis mon travail. It's almost true. So <laughs> after I said video, je finis mon travail. Yeah, that will be true. After this video, I've finished my work. So je finis, you put an I and an S at the end of this verb stem. Tu finis. Voilà. C'est pareil. So it's actually the same. I and an S, they sound exactly the same. Um, à, quelle heure, uh, à quelle heure tu finis le travail? À quelle heure? À quelle heure? So, in this week's class, we saw quelle heure est-il? What time is it? Um, but that question was a bit different. À quelle... I'm going to write it here, actually. I'm going to write it down. There you go. Sorry if you bit chops my head off. À quelle heure... Ooh, it's a bit squished in. À quelle heure <laughs> tu finis? What time do you finish le travail? At what time do you finish work? So in French, when you're asking someone at what time they finish, you need to remember to put in that preposition à. If that's got a little accent there. Um, otherwise, you're saying what time you finish work. It does, it's not quite right, okay? In English you can say what time do you finish work. In French you need to say at what time. À quelle heure? Then the pronoun, then the verb, and then whatever the thing is you're talking about. Okay, um, troisième person. Third person, un, deux, trois. Um, so the ending here, it sounds the same, but it's actually got a T at the end. So you don't need to worry too much about whether it's got an S at the end or a T. You don't pronounce them anyway. Je finis, tu finis, il, elle finit. Um, okay, so if I take away the il and I say elle, um, elle finit um, à neuf heures, at nine o'clock. Look, nine o'clock has got an S on the end because it's talking about nine hours. Okay, so that's sort of a, just bear that in mind. It doesn't matter if you're speaking. You can't tell whether there's an S at the end. Elle finit à neuf heures. She finishes at nine o'clock. Yeah? Um, okay, something happens with these last three plural forms. Nous, vous, il, elle. So, regardez. Uh, regardez ici. Okay, let me just show the people who weren't on the, on the class. This is what we're looking at. Voila. So <clears throat> instead of just putting ONS, nous finons, <laughs> which is nice, but it doesn't work, or vous finez, which might make sense because you just put an EZ normally at the end of a verb, um, it's slightly different. So we add in an extra, is it just an extra one syllable? We. Oui. Nous finissons. Finissons. Vous finissez. 
Par exemple, à quelle heure vous finissez le travail Moi, je finis à 3 heures. 3 o'clock. Nous finissons à 5 heures. OK. Il, elle. Let's look at the il, elle. Plural form for they. So, finissons, finissez. Qu'est-ce que c'est la dernière? What do you think the last form is? The last one here. So, it's similar to these. Got an I, double S. And then we add the usual ENT ending. So, it's a little bit different for this um, type of verb. Il, elle, finisse. Finisse. So, um, <clears throat> let's think of another example of a verb. Ici, sur le document, nous avons un exemple. But I'm going to use my mini whiteboard. It's a bit plus facile, and I'm going to bring you this way towards me. Well, there's a little bit of light coming in. Um, so we have the verb hmm, choisir. So on your take, oh, sorry, on your document, you have this verb choisir. So it's a, an, an IRE verb like finir, yeah? and it's conjugated in the same way as this. So let me just pop that over there so you can have a look at the. Uh, endings. Okay? Remember in the plural form we have the stem plus ison, is, is. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to translate uh, something in the, in the plural form. Um, I think I might just use the example on the sheet. C'est plus facile, it's easier. Okay, so we are choosing where to go. We are choosing where to go, right? We're choosing, we choose, we're choosing. So this is present tense, <coughs> le verbe finir. So we are choosing. Starts off like this. Look. You can see over my shoulder <laughs> the new form, so you should get this. So you need to firstly identify where the, um, where is the stem, right? where the stem of the verb ends. So to do that, you just take off the ending choix, right? So, um, nous choix is going to be nous choix, something or other. We are choosing nous choix. And then you need to put the new ending for IRE verbs. So, c'est ça. Nous choisissons. We are choosing. Nous choisissons. What was the rest of the sentence? Where to go. Where to go. So you need to know how to say where. Ooh, with like a little uh, grab accent over the U. To go. Where to go. So this is, uh, c'est comme en anglais. It's like in English. You just need to put the infinitive verb after. Okay, and what was to go en français? Nous choisissons où? Oui, nous choisissons où aller. And you can make it a little longer if you like. The example on our handout was this. Nous choisissons où aller ce soir. Et là, vous avez euh, les verbes avec IR à la fin, au présent. So that's your IR verb endings, regular IR verbs, because there are some, there's always some that buck the trend. Um, so I'll let you know in the coming two weeks um, which are some of the verbs that are very irregular. We've already seen a few. We've seen things like um, the verb vouloir, like um, to want, je veux, je voudrais. Uh, the verb venir, je viens de Chapsu, je viens du Royaume-Uni. So they're irregular verbs. We've also seen aller, which is highly irregular. Okay, so um, we've got three types of verbs there. I'm going to finish the uh, video here. Je vais finir la vidéo ici parce que je finis mon travail. I'm finishing my work. Oui. And um, yeah, bon weekend et à la semaine prochaine. Merci, au revoir.